there actually being alive <laughs> yeah. after yeah being in a blue jersey but yeah. he didn't couldn't really right. do anything yeah. what did that feel like uh, it felt great it felt great to finally get back into things you know it's been it's been a little over a year since i since i've done a little contact and been out with the team and you know it's good to be out there with my brothers and you know being coached up by the coaches and stuff was it it was a little tough to get loose because you have all that rust on you and <laughs> it's a little cold and wet. <laughs> yeah yeah i mean but you know we've had workouts the past few weeks and we got coach damon has been good at you know doing doing realistic stuff in our workouts and you know it's kind of like being out in practice so it's been it's all right but you know gonna get get used to it a little bit still how frustrating was it going through how many operations did you have to have almost too many to count but you know close to probably like four probably you know and that was definitely frustrating you know it's it's, it's a long time ago you know but it, it lingered on for so long it's probably the most frustrating part that's what it was the initial surgery to repair mm -hmm. the the broken hand yeah. and then and then it was three more to clear out infections or yeah yeah I, I rebroke I had rebroke it and then then had infections also so so it was two to repair the breaks two mm -hmm. to clean so yeah. break infection break infection was how it went uh yeah the infection came a little later down on the line you know end up getting back to Portland and yeah, it's that long story, but you know, it's it's behind me, you know, I'm trying to move forward from all that. So at what point did you have the bone graft? Was uh, that the second yeah, or was, third? No, that was down the line also around uh that infection. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. What uh how frustrating was it to be out for so long? I was very frustrated, you know, uh you know, especially last season not being able to to come and contribute and you know obviously having such a rough season and not being able to you know help us get better you know it's it's definitely tough but uh you know by the same token you know it makes it so much better to come back now and actually be able to you know do some stuff so. when, when you hear coach dykes say things like it all starts with scarlet at least as far as the defensive line is concerned what, what goes oh, yeah. through your mind well that's the first time i heard i heard that <laughs> but you know that feels good though you know and it's, I, i'm ready to ready to bear that weight so for the defense i mean what is what do you guys talk about as far as what you guys need to do to get better and get Cal back to, you know, being successful? Uh, well, like he said, it, it does all start with the D line. You know, we go, we will get some penetration and play in the backfield. You know, get some, get some uh, pressure on the passer. And uh, you know, the defense going through it already first day, and you know, it's it's real simple. So it's going to allow us to play fast and you know get to the ball. So it's going to be good for us. That's good. Okay. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.